In this video we're going to look at enlarging by a fractional scale factor. And when I say a fractional scale factor, I, I'm, I mean a, scale, a fractional scale factor which is less than 1, okay? So whenever it's getting smaller, okay? If it was getting larger, it would be the same as typical enlargement except for multiplying the distances by 2 or by 3 or by 4. You might be multiplying them by 1.5 or, what you know, uh, you know, by a fraction, so like by 3 over 2. Okay, so we're going to enlarge the shape A with a scale factor of a third with center of enlargement 0, 0. So when the center of, or whenever the scale factor of enlargement is less than 1, that means the shape is going to get smaller. So whenever it says enlarge this shape by a scale factor of a third, it actually means make it three times smaller. Okay, so what you're going to do is, first of all, find out where the center of enlargement is. So the center of enlargement is 0, 0. So I, I would put a sort of a cross there to show you where the center of enlargement is. So it's here, the origin. Okay, so as before, what we're going to do is we're going to look at one vertex at a time. So let's start here. So to get from our center of enlargement to here, we'd go 3 across and 3 up. Because the scale factor of enlargement is a third, we're going to divide those distances by 3. So 3 across, divide that by 3, would be 1 across. And instead of going 3 up, we'll divide that by 3 and we'll go 1 up. So this point will move to here. Okay? Let's then look at this point, this vertex. So to get from the center of enlargement to this point, we would go six across and three up. So if you divide that by three, you would go two across and one up. Let's now look at this point. So this point here is six across and nine up. Well, if you divide those by three, you would get, so instead of six across, you'd go two across, dividing it by three. And instead of going nine up, you divide that by three and you'd get three up. So you go two across and three up. Okay, and our last point, our last vertex, this one, is 3 across and 6 up. Well, if you divide those by 3, instead of going 3 across, you'd go 1 across. Instead of going 6 up, you'd go 2 up. So it'd be here. Okay, so here we've got our image. Okay, so let's just join it up. Move it Okay, and because this is A, let's call this A dash. And let's just check, this is 3 across, this is 1 across. Well, if you divide these sides by 3, you would get 1 across. Instead of 6 up, you would get 2 up. Yep, so it's, it works. Okay, so the main thing is whenever you've got a fractional scale factor less than 1, the shape will get smaller. And you just divide the distances by 2 or by 3 or whatever the fraction is. So if the fraction was something like, if the scale factor of enlargement was a half, you would half all the distances. If scale factor is a third, you divide all the distances by 3. If it was something like uh, 2 thirds, you would work out 2 thirds of the distances and so on. Okay, You can do this using the ray method as well. So you could have drawn a ray from here to each one of the points, measured the distance with your ruler, and then divided them by 3. So for instance, if, say, for instance, from here to here was 9 centimetres, you'd divide it by 3 and you'd go 3 centimetres, which would bring you to there and so on. Okay, so the ray method works, but I prefer this method, just divide, see how many you would go across and up, and divide that by three, and you'd get where your new point would be.